Now at 8, not guilty on all charges stemming from the attack on Paul Pelosi. That was the suspect's plea today in court. Thank you for joining us for Crown 4 News at 8. I'm Pam Moore. I'm Ken Wayne. The man accused of attacking Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, made his first court appearance today where he pleaded not guilty to a string of charges related to that attack. That's right. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but wearing a jailhouse orange jumpsuit and his right arm in a sling, because of a dislocated shoulder, 42-year-old David DePap pleaded not guilty Tuesday to all charges, including attempted murder and a variety of other felonies. At the same time, the judge granted the prosecution's request that DePap remain in jail with no bail. In a court filing to keep the defendant behind bars, the prosecutor said DePap had plans to target other California and federal politicians. Absolutely, I consider him to be dangerous. Not only is this someone who um, engaged in a, in a pre-planned uh, attack on the speaker in her, in her home, but someone who was willing to enact violence uh, that was politically motivated. Regarding the attack on the speaker's husband, the filing quotes DePap telling police, quote, I didn't really want to hurt him, but you know, this is a suicide mission. I'm not going to stand here and do nothing, even if it costs me my life, unquote. In addition to being held without bail, the judge also granted a protective order preventing DePap from getting near Paul or Nancy Pelosi should he be released. DePap is due back in court on Friday. That's when a date will be set for his preliminary hearing that will likely take place sometime before January 4th. In the meantime, DePap is also facing federal charges. Crown Force Teresa Stasio explains why a legal expert says the federal government is involved and how the federal case is expected to play out. This was not about an assault of only of Mr. Pelosi. This was an assault on American government and Speaker Pelosi. Legal analyst and former prosecutor Stephen Clark on why the Department of Justice, or DOJ, filed criminal charges against David DePap, the man accused of breaking into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's San Francisco home Friday morning and attacking her husband, Paul. The federal charges filed are, quote, assault on the immediate family member of a federal official and attempted kidnapping of a federal official, end quote. Combined, the two charges carry a maximum sentence of 50 years in prison. Clark says the DOJ is seeking to send a message, not just to the city of San Francisco, but to the country. We saw what happened on January 6th and what could have happened on January 6th, and now you're seeing another uh, you know, situation involving that kind of erratic, disturbed, political behavior. Clark says that both the local and federal cases will move forward simultaneously, similar to what happened in the George Floyd prosecution, where the state charges went first, then a federal trial. Adding federal prosecutors could help behind the scenes to build a case against a PAP. You could see them lending a hand to the San Francisco DA's office on forensics and computer assistance. And I think that is going to be a long track here when you do have these parallel prosecutions to ensure that Mr. DePap is punished appropriately, both for what occurred with Mr. Pelosi and also what uh, potentially could have occurred with Speaker Pelosi. Clark adds another critical legal leg of this case concerns a psychological examination of DePap given his admission to police where he reportedly said he wanted Nancy Pelosi to admit her lies and if she didn't tell the truth he would break her kneecaps. Clark adds if DePap is deemed unfit to aid his attorney in his defense he could be sent to a treatment facility putting the whole state and federal case against him on hold indefinitely until he is declared sane. Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.